Let us talk about this tweet by John Wu, the developer of Magis, wherein he says that SE Linux permissive is really bad and dangerous. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and just wanted to make this video and discuss about what John Wu, the developer of Magisk, tweeted and he said that SE Linux permissive is really bad and it is dangerous. Now, those of you who do not know, we do sometimes change SE Linux to permissive and specifically sometimes, or sorry, most of the times, we do it when we want to use Viper for Android or Dolby because they are very difficult to run with SE Linux as enforcing. However, a few weeks or a few months back, John Wu did ask that why are people still using SE Linux permissive and we did tell him that it was because of Viper for Android and Dolby. Since then, there is a version of Viper for Android available which runs with SE Linux as enforcing and I do have a video for that which can be found in the description of this video. So coming back to this tweet by John Wu, he provides us with a proof of concept wherein there is an application which he created which is going to get root access just by executing it and then if you have a look at his original tweet he says if you are still releasing a custom rom or kernel with se linux as permissive you are literally backdooring your users so what is the main issue here the main issue here is that if se linux is set as permissive then any application can get root access on your android device without you knowing it and once it has root access it can do anything it can access your data pictures videos it can do anything and you might not even know about it which is why he has created this proof of concept wherein when you press install it is going to get restricted yet powerful root access in a service and installed magic to your boot image boot image here is kernel and then it is can permanently root your device without your consent and permission which can very well be a malware he also explains this in nerd terms in the reddit thread most of you like me we don't understand those processes and all those things so there is an eli 5 or explain like a five year old it is as easy as saying that if you have se linux as permissive any app you install can possibly access anything and everything on your device and make changes to it and do anything you can think of without your knowledge that after reading that it is very scary next up there is this another person who tries to explain it he says that se comp filters are a security clearance check if you do not have the right clearance you're not able to access certain functions of the device so a very basic example here would be you have an android device with two different users right one user cannot access the data of another user this is what should be there in a real world practical scenario wherein it is all but obvious that if i am using a windows machine and one of my colleagues also uses the same machine then we have different user ids and we should not be able to access each other's data but with se linux permissive the security system is down as good as the guards are not there and once you get user id zero you can do anything with that android device and that here is the issue with se linux being permissive that you can get malicious applications on your device exploiting your data your stuff all those things so my personal advice to you is do not and i repeat do not run an android device with se linux as 
permissive that is my personal advice to you yes there are roms there are kernels out there which are running as linux as permissive but i would highly recommend you ask your favorite developer to fix the AC Linux denials and then make it as enforcing you as an end user maybe you know how to fix it but it has to be done at the code level when you are building either the ROM or the kernel from source and as John Wu later mentions that again please spread this information and we should stop the toxic and irresponsible mentality of se linux permissive roms kernels in this community you should never ever switch to permissive unless actually doing development or debugging so se linux permissive is basically meant for debugging purposes which is why which is why if se linux is set as permissive then your safety net i don't think so it's going to pass to pass safety net you do need AC Linux as enforcing. And before you ask me, how do you know whether your AC Linux is enforcing or permissive? Well, some ROMs do mention it. So if I go into settings about phone, here it is. This is dot OS on my Redmi K20 Pro. And as you can see, AC Linux is mentioned as enforcing. There is also another application which is available and I will make sure to link it in the description of this video. So you can also use that application to check whether your SE Linux is set as enforcing or permissive. And there it is peeps, just a small video warning you about the risks of running an Android device with SE Linux as permissive. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.